That's it, dude. I think it's 20 quid a steak here. You put, put some effort in. Put some effort in. Welcome along, guys. Welcome back to the garage. I'm here again in the garage, and no, this isn't a hyper motard video, unfortunately. <laughs> This is a revisited video. Today we're talking about security. I did, a, I did another video about this, where you, how to secure your motorcycle within your garage, where we spoke about the, the guardsman, that barrier that comes down and goes over the garage door, you know, and other ways of, I think that's all I spoke about, but other ways of securing your motorcycle within your property. What we're going to talk about today is how to secure your bike when you're out and about. What can you have on your bike in the way of trackers, locks and I'm just going to talk you through a couple of products which I found very very useful so without further ado roll that intro Chopsy <laughs> roll the intro so I feel like a news reporter bike security it's a very, very serious problem. Stay. So bike security, it's a very, very serious problem in the UK at the moment. I've been very fortunate that I've never been directly affected by it. My brother-in-law, Greg, who we did the Triumph Rocket video together on, him and his son both had their 701 stolen out of their garage towards the end of last year. So it's a real big problem in the UK. So what can you do to try and protect yourself while you're out and about, while you're out on your bike. Well, there's a couple of things you can do. There's some preventative measures. Um, there's some measures you can take once your bike has been stolen, like trackers. I've actually been using two products for the last six months or so. Uh, one of them being this, which is the Monimoto tracker system. Um, this is fitted on one of my bikes. It is very good you know if your bike moves and you haven't got the key fob in range of the device you'll get a phone call from your bike to say your bike is moving you can then go into the app and you can track it you can it's, it's very clever it's about 150 quid it's not too expensive so that's one option which we'll come on to that a little bit later hopefully in this video if not i'll do an old, a separate video on the monimoto tracker the other thing you can do is an old-fashioned lock but why be too old fashioned about it? This is the light lock, which is a, a chain alternative, basically. It's made of an aluminium and polymer matrix, which is what they call it. I don't think it's got anything to do with Keanu Reeves, but it's, it's instead of a chain, the, the basic beauty of this is it's strong and it's lightweight. This only weighs 1.46 kilos, which is actually lighter than a chain of a similar size. So this is lightweight, it's secure gold rated, which means money off your insurance. It's it's flexible, you can put fit this in a top box. The casing is a hardened steel with marine grade bolts. It also even comes with like a, a neoprene cover so you can wash it, keep it clean. So this is a tough old lock, a tough old beauty. It's also UK designed. UK manufactured so it's a thoroughly British product a, a, a British invention which is always nice so this is tough but how tough is it I know a lot of people will say yeah but there was a channel in America which cut through that in no time there was and because of that I'm going to try and cut through this myself well not myself Chops Jr is going to try and cut through this while it's securing a motorcycle now to make it a fair test, I've actually offered him £20 if he can cut through this in five minutes. So I think that's a good amount of time. I and mean, the average sort of bike thief probably doesn't get more than five minutes to try and steal your motorcycle. So we're going to try and cut through this. And to do that, we are going to use a pair of these. <laughs> Only joking. It's going to be a pair of these. And they've gone again. These are more like what the average UK thief is using. These are a Draper, a pair of Draper 600 millimeter bolt croppers. So Chops Jr. has got five minutes to cut through the light lock with these and he earns himself 20 pounds if he can do it. Just as an experiment, here's a, here's a bike lock, a steel braided bike lock. Let's see how easily these cutters get through that. 
Oh look, there's an H2, pure poorly secured with a chain. Let's have a try. Oh, these are serious, ladies and gents. Let's test them out. Chops Junior! So imagine the situation. You've pulled up on your brand new XR BMW, £14,000 worth. You've secured it with your light lock. Obviously a lamp post would be ideal, but I don't have one. And then some little scroat comes along who thinks he can just take it from you. No, 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 young man, you're not having my motorcycle. We will set a timer on my phone for five minutes. So what do you think? What's the chance you're getting through this? You feeling strong? I'm feeling very confident. He's very confident. He's very confident. It's my 20 pounds at risk. Go, 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 young scroat. So I've taken off the, uh, the cover, the neoprene cover, because, just, just because it make it easier, if anything, but just to save damaging it completely. How are you getting on? <sighs> Not quite doing it. Not quite doing it? You've got to get, get it, maybe she open up wide, come back and go on it again, sort of thing. Oh. Come on, there's some neighbours watching over there. They'll be calling the cops in a minute. You've only got five minutes. Clean out. Don't swear, please. What's your language, my man? What's it made out of? It's made out of an alloy polymer matrix. What's it do? I think it's 20 quid a steak here. Eh? Put, put some effort in. Put some effort in. What's this noise is going on? It's our work. Ah. We'll come back and go in again. Is it even try and get right on the end of the cutters, right on the very end of it. So don't try and take everything in. Open them up and just start the like the first little bit. I'm oh, even them out here as well. It's my twenty quid to take here. You just get try and get the point of it right on like just the edge right on there. Is it doing anything? You're making any sort of impact. Slight little dent. Slight little dent. Minute 55. No, not two That's minutes. Some, two yeah. minutes six now. Two minutes six. Two minutes seven. Two minutes eight. Two minutes there. You're halfway. You're halfway through now. Your time's half gone. Your time is half gone. Really through anything yet, yeah. You just you just through the little outer sleeving. Oh my god, barely even touched it. Barely even touched it. I think my twenty pound might be safe. Oh, did it do something? Is that oh, just we're getting something there? Actually. Three minutes twenty-five. There's another old deer coming looking out her window now. She's got a telephone in her hand. Oh, hold on. She's got a telephone in her hand. Come on, carry on. Don't waste your time. Just keep keep going at it. Keep going at it. You're three minutes thirty-five. Come on, you're a six foot two young man here. Get some leverage on it. That's a bit of foot action. Come on, look, you're, you're four. You've got a minute left. You've got a minute left. You've barely, you've barely touched it. I can hear the sirens. They're coming there in the distance. No swearing. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> Literally a family show, this one. Is it doing anything? Are you, are you, have you made any impact? We'll have a good old look at the assess the damage. Try and go on and off again. Try and get it right. I'm on I'm, I'm, I'm doing. You know what you're doing. Well, My you've, pro got, you've, got, you've got 30 seconds here. You're down to the last 30 seconds. Come on, about halfway. Halfway, you reckon? Yeah. Four minutes, 40. There's, you know, people are starting to get very suspicious now of this dodgy looking character <laughs> wielding a pair of bulk croppers. Sirens are definitely getting louder. Right, oh, that's it, the time's up now. The time is up. That's five minutes. How's our work? That's it then. Is that my, my 20 quid safe then? 
My 20 quid is safe. Barely even touched it, really. You've literally just cut through some of the outer parts of this outer piece. The other ones are just squashed a little bit. So I, I reckon it would take, if you were to destroy, destroy this, I reckon it would take you at least 25, 30 minutes to get through that with those cutters, if not longer. Maybe longer. You probably could do it, but you're knackered as well, aren't you? Yeah. You'd have to do it in relays. Yeah, that, that, it's, it's barely even touched. Five minutes of attack with massive bolt cutters. Well, there we go, guys. That's Chops Jr. without his pocket money for yet another month. <laughs> I like to try and think we test things properly on this channel. Tested to destruction is what I like to call it. But there we are. She survived. I've got the neoprene cover back on it again. It's almost as good as new. You wouldn't know what the damage is underneath of this. So, and as you can see, it actually goes fairly small as well. So I really like this. It's a product I can really get behind. It's not that often I get sent things which I want to test, which I really believe in. So this is why there's not too many of these videos. If I've got a product I'm sharing on the channel, it means because I'm genuinely, genuinely, genuinely impressed with it. So there we go. That's the light lock. I'll put some links below. If you want one of these, I can actually get you 10% off with an affiliated link, which I'll put in the description. Yes, I do get a small kickback if you do go and buy one of these. But uh, as I say, I only really bring you products I truly believe in. And that's why I wanted to do the, the test because I'd seen a lot of stuff on the internet where people were saying that you could easily cut through it. And I wanted to prove that that wasn't the case. And if we had cut through this, I still would have shown the video. That was the agreement I had with Lightlock with doing this. So, but there we go. If you want one, links below in the description. Um, and that is it really for this episode. I don't think we've got time to talk about the Monimoto tracker. I'll cover that in a different episode. The Hypermotard rebuild will be back very soon. I've got some news about the engine. I'm basically awaiting the engine to be returned. Um, there's been a bit of a disaster, if I'm completely honest. So I'll bring you all the facts next time. But that's why we've had a delay. As you saw in the video clip, Tuan is porting the heads as we speak. I should have them back, hopefully maybe the end of the week, early next week, and then we can get started putting that bike back together. I can't wait. I'm really missing it now. I want to be out riding it. It's going to be incredible once it's done. But uh, stick around. Stay tuned. That will be coming soon. But for now, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will speak to you soon. Take care. Ride safe. I'll see you soon. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I told you I was scared about that. Whoa! I've never dropped a bike before in my life.